Hey guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today is our last Halloween hunting video. Pretty sure it's gonna be the last one for this year. So that's what we're doing today. I actually did not plan on doing this today. I have a ton, 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 ton of work to do this week. But yesterday was a really bad day for me. Um, and now I'm just unmotivated to work in other aspects. So I figured I would go film a video for you guys as we're doing now and like do something that I enjoy and try to like boost my mood back up because you know yesterday was rough and I feel like I want to do something special. I don't want to spend a ton of money today because I already have spent a lot of money on Halloween but since it's like the last little bit that's in stores and like everything else is kind of psh, moved on to Christmas I want to give one last run. I did find this and Ross no not Ross TJ Maxx the other day because I was right beside it, I decided to go in. I found Joanna Parker mugs for $12.99 for two of them, and I was, like, in love. So I heard a lot of people are finding them at TJ Maxx's and Ross's. So that's kind of, like, my goal for today is find something else. Joanna Parker, I just think it's super cute. I also decided to transition my kitchen. I know I just moved here. Changed my kitchen into Halloween vintage-inspired, too. So, like, oranges and stuff and blow molds. Um, because it didn't fit in that one bathroom, I had themed like that. But anyways, we're going to go to Joanne's first, and, uh... Let's do that. All right, so we're back from Joanne's and there's a Ross next door. So I went there because, you know, Joanna Parker. Anyways, if you live in Jacksonville, I would just suggest skipping Town Center for the most part. I always come here and then I never find anything. You know, like the Joanne's is fine because I don't feel like going half an hour to the other one. <laughs> so um, at Joanne's, when you first walk in, they had some of the Sliver and Shivers, sure, Shivers and Slithers line, which is like the newest line they just got. Like it has crows and bugs in it and stuff and all the crow stuff I thought was pretty cute like in general um but I kind of had the two pieces from that collection that I wanted so nothing else really called to me and their like pumpkin line and everything was also kind of sad like their little pumpkin section of ceramic pumpkins they had some cute ones on their like app when the season started I never saw them in person and they just didn't have anything spectacular there as far as like the regular all the Halloween lines that have been out for a while now they're all kaput like there's a couple things here and there um like the happy halloween witch sign and stuff but nothing fantastic it's really kind of slim pickings these days at the joann's um other than the slither line which is newer but there's only a couple things i really wanted from there because a lot of the stuff says happy halloween or you know trick or treat those are the two kind of sayings that i try to avoid i do have a couple things that do say trick or treat or have the word halloween on them in my house just because i fell in love with the object itself and i could get over the fact that it said those two sayings because it's my all year decor i don't like having those things in my house typically so a lot of the stuff that would fit my aesthetic i kind of avoided um in general i kind of felt like joann's is kind of done like i don't think i'm gonna make another trip to joann's anytime soon unless i absolutely need something for like crafts and stuff i did spend 17 dollars there all their halloween stuff is 50 percent off their cooking wear is 40 percent off so that's where i went so i got these plates that say we're like really into halloween they're big dinner plates i figure if we ever have company we could use these nice big sturdy plates and then like it's kind of funny because like our whole house is halloween themed it says we're really into halloween i thought for like three dollars for a set of eight i thought it was kind of cute really like, company we'll not use them ourselves it's kind of a waste of money and then i also grabbed two molds original ten dollars like five something now so I have these little pumpkin and skull ones. I actually sell on my site pumpkin and skull soaps using this mold, which is really cool. So I want another one so I can make bigger batches of them instead of three at a time per scent because they're different scents on each side. Then I also grabbed this ghosty mold, which has little fun ghost faces on it. So I thought these were super cute. This is the year of the ghost for me. Like all my decor I really like fall in love with is mostly ghosts. So yeah, I spent $17 at Joann's. I got nothing at Ross. Now when you first walk in, Ross, especially this one, has been picked over forever because it's in town center. It's in like the main center of all the shopping in town. So I feel like it's been kind of picked over. But I still had hope. And also if you're looking for uh, signature pieces like dish towels or Joanna Parker's stuff, if you're looking for her stuff, do not look in the regular Halloween section. It's always going to be in the kitchen section typically. Like you may find in the Halloween section, but most people I've heard of finding their stuff is always in the kitchen section with the rest of the cups and stuff. So when you first walk in, all of the Halloween decor is kind of mixed in with fall stuff. It's kind of like a spooky skeleton couple in a car and a lot of peanuts themed things this year. I noticed in Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross's, Home Goods, all of like the cutesy cartoony stuff is either gnomes or peanuts Halloween like 
you know, big pumpkin type stuff, which is fine and it's cute and it has its moment. Um, it's just not like my personal everyday decor, even though I was obsessed with Snoopy as a kid. I did find this really cute ghosty guy holding a candy corn. I thought he was precious. He was $16.99 and I really wanted him to come home with me. But when I held him, he was really thin. And like, I, was, I don't know, it's something about his expression and how big he was. He wouldn't fit on my desk with the rest of my ghosties. And I didn't, he's a little more farmhouse than like I typically have. So he didn't come home with me, but I still think about him. I mean, like, I'm not outside the store still, but I'm still thinking about him. Like he's pretty cute, but I don't think I'd personally need it, you know? Um, everything else is kind of just basic stuff. So Ross was kind of a bust. I went through all the kitchen aisles, I went through all the dish towel aisles. Meh. They have a couple like mug and a dish towel here and there scattered throughout the store. But most of it was like the fall mixed in with the Halloween. Now I'm going to drive all the way down to the beach. I will see you in like half an hour. We will go to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Ross. Another Ross because I have hope for the Joanna Parker, you guys. I have hope. All right, I am back from Home Goods. I decided to like stop in between each one so I remember what I saw. And I didn't get anything. Also, I thought of something on the way here, you guys. Like when I watch these videos, other people doing them because I love Halloween hunting videos. No one ever talks about what they bought or how much they spent. Like, it annoys me. Like, I know they're saving it so they can do, like, a big decor haul. But you can still do a decor haul and tell people what you spent. Like, I feel like it's kind of cheating. Well, it's not cheating. It's really not. But I feel like no one ever talks about what they bought. They talk about what they saw and that's it. No one talks about what they bought. No one ever talks about how much money they spent. And let's be realistic here with our, like, spending habits, okay? Like, I'll tell you. I spent 17 bucks at Joanne's. That's it. Um, well, it is more than I expected. But still... Um, yeah, I, just, I feel like no other hauls or like no other Halloween decor hunting videos actually tell you what they bought. They will just tell you what they saw. It's weird. I don't know. I'm thinking about a couple other people too. It's not just one person that does it. It's like a several people that just do not tell you what they saw or like, you know, anything. Anyways, I didn't get anything at Home Goods. It had this Home Goods, just like last time we came here, is 80% kitchen stuff like cups and Tupperware and bowls and gummies there's a lot of halloween spooky gummies and stuff not as much like decor they did have a couple blankets though the things that i saw here that i thought were cute were some of the tupperware that had like spooky vintage halloween stuff on it was a pack of 20 for 17 dollars, which not bad at all it's just would i want to have 20 tupperware to clean in my house i don't know and then also there was like a soup ouija mug a Ouija mug with a, like, a soup top on it so you could make soups and it's only 3.99 that was a really good deal but when do i ever give my husband soups to take to work I don't really, you know, maybe when it gets colder, but I doubt it. I'm definitely not like a making homemade soup person. I, I like chilies and such. So I didn't get that either. Um, and then everything else was kind of just typical cups and stuff. A couple little tiny figures here and there, but nothing big, exciting, or non-kitchen related. So I'm going to move on to TJ Maxx now. This is actually the TJ Maxx I found uh, like a week ago where I found those Joanna Parker mugs that it was on the bottom row. I think no one was down there. But I saw it, and hopefully they have more. You know, I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt I'll get lucky twice at the same place, but we're going to see. All right, back from TJ Maxx. I wasn't there a lot longer than expected because that line took forever and a day. Anyways, when I first walked in, I went to the purse section because people were finding really cute Betsy Johnson Halloween-inspired purses. I found three that were not Betsy Johnson. They were really cute, though. So the first one was a, like, beaded spider kind of deal it was a beaded spider it was really cute it was $25 they had these spider web black little long one that I've seen before that had a gold little spider web on the corner that was $19 and they also had another one that I can't think of at the top of my head but I think it was $20 as well it was super pretty all three of them I remember being pressed by I just don't remember what the last one looked like <laughs> anyways moving on to the Halloween section now it was kind of depleted not really that much it had a lot of like little disposable coffee cups and stuff as well as a lot of gnomes and a lot of Ray Dunn I know Ray Dunn at the beginning of the season everyone was buying it in bulk all the resellers were buying it in bulk and now there's some you can actually buy in stores because the resellers suck. You know, <laughs> I hate resellers so much. Like, I don't like Ray Dunn personally. It's not my thing. I think it's ugly. I hate the font, I hate the style, I hate everything being labeled. But the fact that, like, people who really wanted it and wanted to enjoy it in their home couldn't get it because people were reselling it online makes me angry. So I'm glad if you want it, you can get it now. They had that same big cauldron which that was 70 bucks that's been there for a long time now i don't really know why no one scooped her up she doesn't fit my aesthetic but i'm sure she fits somebody's aesthetic um yeah and nothing really special there they had a couple things like here and there 
you know, in the store, as most stores do these days. Nothing's really in one section anymore, but it really wasn't that much. I did end up finding some stuff for my husband. I found three shirts for him, and I spent only, like, 24 bucks, I think, for three shirts, which was really good. They did have one shirt that I didn't get that was spooky. It was, like, a work shirt, you know, like, a collared moment with little buttons down the center that was super cute had like spider webs and ghosties and pumpkins on it was really precious um but i did not get that one because i figured he wouldn't wear it all year long i would but you know but i did find this really cute white one with like graves and skateboarding skeletons i thought it was fun for 12.99 and i also found a trick-or-treat shirt which was 7.99 they had a bunch of other like friday 13th nine on elm street scream with the scream being japanese font which i thought was really cool but i don't know we love sam so i got the sam one so yeah, that's what I got there. Nothing spooky for me. Two shirts and uh, let's, well, I got three shirts, but one was just a gray v-neck. It was nothing special. Let's move on to Ross now. You guys, we did it. We did it. Ross had Joanna Parker. Only one thing. I've seen people do giant hauls of this stuff at Ross, but I don't care. I feel like I succeeded in my journey today. So <laughs> I got the owl. The owl! I didn't even really see it at first because there was just so much on the shelf when I first walked in, but I got the owl! He was $4.99. Now I have four Joanna Parker books. So I got two I found at TJ Maxx last week, and I had one that I've had for a couple years. So now I have four Halloween. Oh my god, it's so nice! Okay, so let me tell you what I saw besides the beautiful mug, and I checked everywhere to see if there's anything else, but they didn't. Mm. <laughs> so um i saw a bunch of like costumes and kitty stuff again a lot like both rosses we went to today had a lot of fall mixed in with their halloween this one again had that candy corn ghost who i still think is absolutely precious for 17 dollars. just a little something about them reads more farmhousey to me than like you know bright happy ghost i don't know but everything else was again more dishware a lot of peanuts things we had the peanuts pint glasses i was really hoping for the joanna parker pint glasses to have like the cute little designs on them um because i have a lot of mugs and not as many pint glasses i just oh my god i'm so excited like i'll put on the screen of course what i saw and stuff but i could not be more excited also bought a shower caddy because i've been looking on amazon and at walmart they're like 50 bucks 13.99 y'all I, I wanted a four tier one but they only had one four tier one and it was very uh southern kitchen looking so i just went with the three tier that was such a good deal and i found the mug i mean i wish they had wrapped it for me they didn't so i'm over here like wrapping it in the paper keeping it safe and i was gonna end the, the shopping here because again i have so much work to do this week but now i feel like i had such good luck i need to go somewhere else so i'm gonna hit marshalls i think i i'm just so excited about this mug now it's gonna take me like half an hour to get to marshalls is it worth it i don't know we'll see we'll see and i also need to eat because i'm starving but i got the mug y'all i got the mug this is what i needed for my mood today like i know i'm behind on work right now <sighs> <sighs> but it's okay because i got what i needed and this is what i needed for my mood boost because yesterday was such a terrible day for me that like I needed to do something for myself and kind of get out of the little funk I was in and I think this helped because I got that mug you know and I got something I need for the house so that's pretty good okay so I've made it across town to Marshall's and let me tell you they had a good amount of stuff here but nothing that I had to have of course you know like I didn't get anything spooky today here but that's okay we got that mug earlier <laughs> So in the Halloween section, they had a whole bunch of like little beautiful little succulents and like little cauldron containers. I didn't think they were worth the $10 they were asking for them. They also had a whole bunch of like little trio plates. They had one with gnomes, one with ghosts, and I think one with pumpkins. It was just like three platter, like a chunk, 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 all connected to a platter. I liked the ghost one. I didn't like that it said boo on it. I also thought they had some cute plates and they, they had like a little standing ghost on one of the plates. I thought it was really precious. But, you know, how are you going to store that if you have a big standing pumpkin on it? Or a big standing ghost on it? You have to, like, put that on the top of your plates. Not a fan of that. They did have some other cute things, though. And nothing that really, again, stood out to me. I always say I'm not the cutesy Halloween person. Except for when it comes to the vintage-inspired stuff. So none of that really was. They did have some cute salt and pepper shakers that look like black cats. They had one Halloween, a happy Halloween doormat. But nothing special. No blankets. And one Ouija pillow. Um... So yeah, nothing, I mean, they had a good amount of stuff at Marshall's, just nothing for me. I'm going to go to TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx now. And because I know a couple people who watch my channel are from Jacksonville, this is the Mandarin San Jose area. So they're all in like the same little complex. Y'all, that was such a weird TJ Maxx experience. Like all the lights are off in the store except in the center. Like both sides of the store, 
the lights are off just the center column is lit it's so creepy it's so creepy like if you need to look for a purse good luck because it's dark in there also the halloween section was depleted they had a little section of halloween fall and christmas christmas was on top for some reason um it was not really that much they went in cap that was halloween they had a bunch of kitchenware plates cups things like that um they did have like random stuff put in the halloween section too like a random rainbow gnome i guess gnomes are now spooky and no matter what they look like because there's rainbow gnome um you know a little things disposable cups like coffee cups again and then like a little succulent with a cute little thing but again a little expensive so you know kind of a bust at tj maxx it was super creepy in there because it was dark so yeah i don't know i wanted i've been looking for like in tj maxx's i've been looking for like a pumpkin cat bed i know there was like a halloween jack-o-lantern one in ross but it's like i want one that's shaped like a pumpkin i thought it'd be cute but i can't find one anywhere um there is a spirit over here but i think i'm ready to go home am i i think maybe i'll run in spirit and like you know then we'll go home just just to check you know just to check because i never know when they restock stuff they get a shipment every week they say but they don't know what day so i'm just gonna go in there and see what they got and then we'll go home spirits was depleted my darlings it was depleted of everything good there was a couple people working there with carts of putting a couple things out but not much and everything there was kind of stripped down they had a cute crossbody like sam lollipop bag which was really cute and i wanted for like 22 dollars but the quality just wasn't good and i feel like it would look cheesy as like a regular purse every day because the quality wasn't there um but i like the sam section they had a little sam animatronic that we have at the house and i think it's so cute um, I love him. <laughs> I was hoping to find something cute Beetlejuicey for the Beetlejuice bathroom that's not done yet. But it was so... Like, they had the sandworm holder, which I really enjoy, but I don't know what I'd do with in the bathroom. Because, like, what are you holding on the bathroom? I don't know. Um, and so, yeah, kind of a sad visit to Spirit. Could have been worse. Could have been better. For sure. Could have been better. For sure could have been better. And then no 2X t-shirts at all. Like, their t-shirt section was super, super sad. So, yeah, I guess that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, helping me boost the mood by doing this trip today. Um, I have to go back home and do some work now. Like, definitely did some work done today. So, thank you guys so much. Have an awesome and great day there wherever you are. Let me know your favorite spooky find of the season down below. I don't know what my favorite one is, um, but I have a lot of them. So, thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.